President Paula May Weeks presented a picture of hope during her maiden address as the head of state of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Ian Wayson spoke to a few who turned out at the Queen's Park Savannah today. It seems the new president, Her Excellency Paula May Weeks, has brought new hope to the country. During her address, she called on all to play their part and acknowledged the problems plaguing the society. Her address was praised by those who witnessed the inauguration. I think she was very articulate and I like the fact that she gave the nation hope because we are living in a country now where there is so much despair and clearly she is someone who is in touch with what is happening in our country. The occasion left Christine Greenwich in a dancing mood. I love the idea that you challenge us to be light. And I am personally challenged to be a light wherever I go. And I'm particularly happy that my daughter is here with me. And she too was challenged as a young person to be a light. We could brighten up the darkness. It was a wonderful occasion and we're working together to build Trinidad and Tobago. Former Senator Martin Daly was also impressed by what he heard. Well, if what she said today is anything to go by, I am feeling cautious optimism. But you know, after a grand occasion like this, you have to wake up the next morning to reality. But I am very pleased with many of the things she said, including the fact that she acknowledged the level of crime and the fact that she acknowledged that, public, that goodwill in public officials is rather low. I thought it was very realistic, very humble, and I was pleased. Ian Wayson, C News.